So in this portion, we're going to solve by a new method, um, and it's called elimination. And what we're doing with elimination is I am just taking equation one, and I'm going to add it, in this case, to equation two. And when I'm doing that, what I'm really saying is I'm just taking the coefficients in front of x and adding them together, taking the coefficients of y and adding them together, and then adding my constants together. When I do that, 2 minus 3 is just leaving me with x. The y's become 0. Negative 4 plus 4 is just 0, so they're gone. And then the 8 minus 12 is just going to give me A negative 4. And definitely need to make sure that first x is negative because it's 2 minus a negative 3, which leaves me as a negative x. So what I have to do with this is I have to make sure I divide both sides by a negative 1, and that leaves me with my first answer that x is equal to a positive 4. And again, my, I have an ordered pair solution. My answer needs to be x and y. I've just found the first one. Now I have to go to the second step. It doesn't matter if you plug it into uh, equation one or to equation two, you can get the same answer anyway. So I'm gonna start with equation one, and that was two x plus four y is equal to eight. So I'm gonna take the four that I have, plug it back in for x, then I have 2 times 4 plus 4y is equal to 8. And I know this looks a little strange. 2 times 4 is 8. 4y is equal to 8. But don't let this question throw you because when you subtract 8 from both sides, you do get this answer. It's just an answer is equal to 0. So when you divide both sides by 4, 0 divided by 4 is still an answer. It's just that y is equal to 0. So your ordered pair solution is my x value, which is 4, and my y value, which is uh, 0. Try another one of those. So our next equation is 2x plus 3y is equal to negative 9. And my other equation is 2x plus y is equal to negative 3. And again, all I'm going to do with these to solve from elimination, I have equation 1 and equation 2, and I'm just adding them together. Negative 2 plus 2, so my first term, this just goes to 0. This y is understood to have a 1 there, so 3y plus 1y would give me 4y is equal to negative 9 minus 3 is equal to negative 12. Divide both sides by 4. And I am left with y is equal to negative 3. Again, I probably shouldn't box those because our ordered pair is a solution. I have one of them. So I can plug this into the, let's try the second equation this time. So if I plug this into equation 2, it's 2x plus my y, but I know my y is negative 3. So 2x minus 3 is equal to negative 3. And again, we have this really weird thing that happens, but it doesn't always happen, but sometimes it does. Those are both 0. So it's just 2x is equal to 0. Divide both sides by 2 and x is equal to 0. My order pair solution is 0, comma, negative 3. Now, if you're asking yourself what happens if they're not exactly the same, that's the next video.